Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most marathon worthy anime of the decade so far. Number 10, Mushoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation. Before he turned into magical extraordinaire Rudius Grey Rat, this guy was just a neat down on his luck. But after a run in with a speeding truck, he reincarnated into a fantasy world with a new name, new powers, and a new reason to live. Well, quite a few reasons. <laughs> From there, Mushoku Tensei navigated love, magic, personal growth, and more, all without losing its spirited sense of humor. While its setup doesn't sound all that original, the show feels like a celebration of the genre's tropes rather than a boring retread of them. Altogether, that clever execution makes for a show that's hard to look away from. Number 9. Skate the Infinity like a real skateboard, this show is stylish, sturdy, and capable of more than a few sick tricks. But best of all, it never slows down for any of it. The high stakes racing in each episode will keep your blood pumping from the opening song until the closing credits. <laughs> That's not to say Skate is all half pipes and trick shots, though. At its heart, it's a simple story about Reiki and Langa learning about themselves and each other. They just happen to do it through some insanely entertaining skate moves. Take our word for it, once you get on this board, you'll wish it really was infinite. <laughs> Number 8. Mashal, Magic and Muscles It's brawn versus bewitching in this genre mashup, and no matter which comes out on top, the audience wins. <laughs> the gist of it is that Mash is a beefed out mortal who snuck his way into a wizarding academy, but to everyone's surprise, he gets by just fine using his physique alone. Mash's tendency to punch through every situation will never stop being funny, especially since he usually doles out the pain with the same deadpan expression. <laughs> But fair warning, once you start the show, you won't be able to stop. One joke turns into one episode, turns into one more until, before you know it, you've laughed your way through the whole season. <laughs> Number 7. Tokyo Revengers to set this one up, there's time travel, gang wars, and a whole lot of characters with a whole lot of conflicting motives. It gets complicated fast. But that's also why Tokyo Revengers makes for such a great binge watch. The intricate narrative and deep character arcs feel like they were written to be enjoyed in bulk. <laughs> Not only is it easier to keep track of, but you also won't have to worry about those pesky things called cliffhangers. And boy, does Tokyo Revengers love cliffhangers. At this point, blazing through full seasons at a time might be the best way to watch Tokyo Revengers at all. <laughs> Number 6. Chainsaw Man Denji's a humble guy. Even after the chainsaw devil gives him a second life, he still just wants to get in a girl's pants. It sounds juvenile, but keep in mind, he has to look at Makima every day. Denji-kun? 
Chainsaw Man also has racy humor, lovable characters, and some jaw-dropping devil slaying. Usually the ultra-violent, stain-your-screen-red variety, but like the lewd jokes, that's part of its charm. <coughs> oh my God! With just 12 blood-soaked episodes under its belt, Chainsaw Man is dangerously easy to saw through. A word of advice though, try and cherish it, because once you're done, you'll be stuck waiting for the next season like the rest of us. <laughs> Number 5. Odd Taxi Here's all you need to know about Odd Taxi. Orokawa is a walrus, he drives a taxi, and his unique clientele make him the only one capable of solving a missing person's case. That's really all we can say about it without giving too much away. And trust us, you'll want to go into this one knowing as little as possible. Yes, for the mystery. But also because so much of Odd Taxi is about discovering who these characters are for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Suffice it to say, the story is worth the ride, especially since it's so quick. Odd Taxi only has one short season, and the pacing is so fast, it'll end before you know it. <laughs> Number 4. Bleach – Thousand Year Blood War After nearly a decade off the air, Ichigo is back and better than ever. <laughs> Thanks to the series' extended hiatus, Thousand Year Blood War has the benefits of adapting a finished story. That means for the very first time, Bleach is all killer, no filler. Each and every single episode is tightly scripted, action-packed, and most importantly, leaves you wanting more. Combine that with noticeably higher production values, and it really feels like the series has hit its stride again. If you haven't caught up with Bleach, now's the time to do it. Considering how addictive Thousand Year Blood War is, that shouldn't take you very long anyway. <laughs> Number 3. Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Netflix had the right idea when they dropped this show all at once. Edge Runners just wasn't made for weekly viewing. David. While it's technically broken up into 10 episodes, the Fade to Black feels more like a built in potty break than anything else. In reality, Cyberpunk Edge Runners is an epic five hour movie masquerading as a TV series. The way the story continuously builds upon itself practically forces you to watch the next, and the next, and the next. <laughs> Whether you've played the game, never touched it, or haven't even heard of Cyberpunk, Edge Runners is sure to take your heart, and odds are it won't give it back until the final episode is done. Number 2. Oshinoko Watching one episode of Oshinoko is basically the same thing as watching the whole season. Let's just say that, within its first 20 minutes, the show is all but guaranteed to leave you a human puddle who can't put the remote down. The story exposes the hardships of the entertainment industry through the eyes of grief-stricken twins, Ruby and Aqua. But rather than indulging in hammy plot points, Oshinoko gives its characters their due time in the spotlights, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> The emotional stakes become so high that, eventually, you don't just want to find out what happens anymore. You want to find out what happens to Ruby and Aqua specifically. 
めちゃくちゃやって帰るか。Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 Jujutsu Kaisen. Watching Jujutsu Kaisen is a lot like Itadori eating those damn fingers. You can't just stop at one. Somehow, someway, his quest to consume the King of Curses turned into a series long representation of shonen anime at its best. The stories are gripping, the characters are well drawn, and the action, well, the action speaks for itself. Kyoshiki Murasaki. The fact that some of these fights stretch out through several episodes practically demands that they be seen together. That ravenous pacing has continued throughout the first season, the prequel film, and beyond. Clearly, Jujutsu Kaisen is an anime you have to keep your eyes on, otherwise, it'll be over in a black flash. What's the best anime you've seen in a single sitting? Let us know in those comments below. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.